Well, just like people, dogs need exercise to stay healthy. And what better place to run and jump than a park? CBS 2's Lisa Siegel introduces us to one young man who took doggy playtime seriously to make his community better. <laughs> It's a doggy play day for these pooches at the Sepulveda Basin off-leash dog park. Come on. All thanks to 17-year-old Eagle Scout candidate Conrad Rutherford. The work is worth it. It feels good to give back. I love to see smiles on other people's faces. He's talking about three different dog agility courses he created. Part of his goal to be an Eagle Scout, part of his mission to always give back. The agility course gives them something to do, and it gives the owners a fun thing to have activities to do with their dogs. Yes, Conrad did it all. Raised thousands of dollars, corralled more than 75 volunteers, and worked about 1,500 hours to make this a reality. There's a hoop jump, a bar jump, a resting table, and an A-frame in each area. It was viewer Elizabeth Orban who told us about Conrad. Out of anything that he could have chosen to do, this is what he chose to do. It's very, very helpful and very cool for the community. Come on. Young and the Restless star Christoph St. John agrees. He just happened to be at the park when we were there. You've done a mighty fantastic job in all Thank the parks. You. Keep it going, brother. I'm a dog lover, and now I'm your big fan, my man. And speaking of fans, Conrad's dad couldn't be prouder. And he's beginning to realize that you get more out of life when you learn how to give more. So summer has gone to the dogs, and this young man couldn't be happier. Yes, he may just be a teenager, but he's on a mission to give back. I love to come and just enjoy my time here, talking to people, making new friends, and seeing the dogs have fun. So you can tell the dogs enjoy this. Now, as for Conrad, what's his plan next? He says whatever he'll do, he'll be giving back. I'm Lisa Siegel. Back to you guys. Well, if you know someone who's making a difference in their community, we want to hear from you. You can email us at peoplemakingadifference at cbs.com.